Rosamund Pike, to the surprise of no one, is known for playing psychologically enraging characters in her films. Whether Gone Girl or the movie we are discussing today, I get a lot. She has consistently delivered in playing characters that are so unlikable and unpredictable that you cannot wait to see what they're doing next. But there's more than what meets the eye with respect to her character, Marla Grayson. In one of her interviews, Spike talks about how the vape pen which was used in the movie was representative of her character's backstory. Perhaps her backstory would have helped the audience understand the character in a deeper way. The aim of this video is to realize the significance of the vape pen as a prop and to delve a little into the fascinating and complex character of Marla Grayson. A prop is an object that functions as a part of the set or as a tool used by the actors. Props acquire special significance when they are used to express characters' thoughts and feelings, their powers and abilities in the world, or the primary themes of the film. In I Care A Lot, we see Marla's use of weapon in scenes directly representative of her power, dominance, and her greed for monetary satisfaction. You see, the back story of Marla is that she had a vape business until she was Walmarted out of business by a great big discount vape store opening across the street, which she was furious about. You know, she had a small-time business, she was a small-time business owner, she got screwed, and then she thought, right, chips are down, I'm going all out, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to play the system like everybody else. She uses the vape in scenes representative of her rise to the top, with respect to her corruption, her use of wordplay in justifying her actions, and in using her cunning. We see this in scenes when she is conspiring with Dr. Amos to unethically take Mrs. Peterson under her wing, instigating Fran that it is a good idea to steal the diamonds, and having the judge wrapped around her finger. Marla's scene with Dean is also noteworthy. Despite the heavy-handed nature of the conversation between them, she is determined, opportunistic and so single-minded that neither money nor power can threaten her as they once did, perhaps indicating how she is not the lamb in the system like she once was. In the scene at the care home where she confronts Mrs. Peterson, we understand more about her as a character. Marla's mindset is somewhat rule-abiding as well. I won't lose. She's willing to stretch the law as far as it goes, but makes sure never to break it and would respect a competition that does the same. At the end of the movie, in the montage, wherein we see her business booming, she has made it to the 40 under 40 and is finally happy with her growth, we don't see her use the device anymore. The vape is clearly representative of her rise to the top, her journey to become a lioness. I'm a lioness. I think every time she inhales, it's the attitude of having been screwed, and now you're out to screw everybody. Liar. Liar.